the February 9th, uh, 2023 um, member meeting is in session. Uh, currently here are myself, James O'Keefe, and um, Steve Revelak and Joseph Onorowski. Uh, <clears throat> so um, how is everybody? Fantastic. I feel, I feel better than James Brown. Hmm. I mean, he's long dead, right? I mean... No, I feel good. <laughs> da, 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 da. You know that I would. <laughs> and I feel nice. Yep. So I feel better than James Brown. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, on our agenda, we've got, uh, you know, U.S. Pirate Party um Discussion, the upcoming party conference on the 18th, uh, local outreach planning the 2020 local elections, and the video newsletter podcast. Is there anything else that should be on the agenda? Nothing that I could think of. Um, yeah, the thing that you were just talking about, um, the budget for the year, and I'd also like to add potential fundraiser ideas that I'm going to shamelessly steal from the European pirates. Sounds good. I will put that on. Um, with our latest additions to what we were doing at the national level, it should be a hop, skip, and a jump to just implement a few things here. And why not? Okay. Um, in terms of reports, um, the uh, email, sorry, my dog is scratching things. Um, <clears throat> the uh, <laughs> anyways, so, so um, the, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> yeah, my dog has his mind of his own, as most dogs do. Maybe this is not a All right, so I'm um, sorry about that. Um, so in terms of report, um, we the uh after a far too long delay an email update went out um we'll plan to do one uh next week and um in that it uh asks folks to be candidates provides them with some information as well as as we discussed at our last meeting asking folks to see if there's any budget, uh, no, see if there's any Massachusetts legislation we should take a position on um, and other stuff of what we've been doing and, and things like that. Um, any other reports? Okay, there being none, uh, we go on to decisions and endorsements. So Joe, you want to talk about budget and fundraising? Yes, but I accidentally hung up on this conversation. It seems like I have a bad connection. How do I sound? You sound good now. Okay, weird. So I'll just power through it. Um, so yeah, a couple ideas I saw from the from the pirate party, and then that thing you were discussing. Did Steve? Did you pay for something this year? Uh, yes, I just emailed a copy of the receipt, but basically it's a P.O. box renewal. Okay. So are, are we going to try and get a, or you want me to get out a budget? Did I hear that correctly? I mean, we, we should have a budget, yes. Okay. So, so we have past ones up. we've done. Um, we can work on one. If you need help on yeah, that. 
that you know I need all the help I can get, but um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll slap it together. I'll start playing it in last year's format. Sounds good. Um, and then the other thing is, so we recently just added uh, a way to donate through through online, right? Uh, the national the party, we have, yes. Since we already have WooCommerce, why don't we just sell bumper stickers and T-shirts? I know I could use a triple X T-shirt, and it would be a good way to contribute to the Pirate Party. So it's a good way to fundraise. Because if I want to buy a stack of stick or a stack of bumper stickers, it's just easier to buy it from the party itself. So I would like to see that implemented if that is okay with everybody else. Well, we have a Zazzle store um that a member set up that uh allows folks to um create allows folks to choose from a variety of t-shirt designs we don't have any bumper stickers but that would be a good thing to get designs for and get a bunch printed up i can i can come up with a few ideas um but what the instead of what the pirates are doing internationally is they just have their own direct store. Um, and it's just, it seemed like it was a lot more active. I know we have the Zazzle thing and that would be good to have linked to our main page. So it's easy to find. The Zazzle is linked to our main page. Oh, it is. It's on the side yeah. bar. You look for the picture of the guys with t-shirts. Party t-shirts. Okay. <laughs> then I need to go buy a t-shirt. Okay. But, uh, yeah, bumper stickers, and then um, another thing I wanted to see if we could do this year is get some, like, little hangers, like door knob hangers. And if we can get where we're getting the bumper stickers from, we can probably get door hangers, too. Yeah, I can. I know there's a bunch of uh, printing um, print, print shops in, well, there's a variety around Massachusetts we could we could come up with a design and and put it put it up and and have it there to be like you know here's what the pirate party is about and you know especially for candidates there could be like at the bottom it could be um you know vote for this candidate or something like that um or we could always have like a pdf that they can update or the or mm you know, a, a design that they could, um, that they could customize for their own use as well. Yeah. Well, I mean, what I was thinking is having some more generic ones, just linking back to the website, the wiki, our, our major stances. Uh, recently Liz online, like sent over a 2014 document with all the original core values. I'd love to see it like something like that incorporated as well. You know, just like a pamphlet of our core values, what we stand for, and uh, you know all the things, the reasons why we're here. That sounds good. Um, why don't you share either a link to those documents, um, preferably uh, to the activist list? Uh, sure. I mean, whatever, whatever was sent to you, and then we can. I mean, certainly what we can do is in the next email uh, this upcoming week, have a, you know, hey, we'd like to put together flyers um, and stuff like that. I will, sir, I will one up that and I just sent it over to you to post in the, into the uh, meeting notes right now. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, it was, a, it was a good both down trip down memory lane and a uh, a good a good source code for what we're looking to do in the future. Yeah, I know the I know the UK Pirate Party had a nice page on that, which I don't think exists since they don't exist. But I know I've got a link to it in uh, archive.org where that stuff was all archived. Another place to get ideas.
Um, so with that, any other budget or fundraising discussion points? Uh, that's all I have at this time. Okay. Um, is there anything about um, U.S. Power Party decisions that we should review or consider? Uh, well, I mean, we just lost the Kentucky Power Party, and I know you know quite a bit about that. That is a shame. They're good. They're good folks. And Evan got uh, over four percent of the vote, if I recall correctly, in a three-way race. Or yes, yeah, it, it was about. It was just under, I think, but yes, about four percent. Because we in politics like to round a little bit. Um, Did you say for, got or lost the Kentucky Pirate Party? Uh, lost. Uh, so Evan Evan ran in the November election. He got close to four percent in a three way race. Um, Very close for well, U.S. House of Representatives, um, which, as far as I know, is the first pirate to run for U.S. House of Representatives, and. Um, something happened, uh, there was a dispute and Kentucky decided to go its own way. Um, you know, I, I really reached amazing. out to them just, you know, to, to say, we're always happy to, to chat with them and share ideas and stuff like that. So. I mean, they're still pirates. Yeah. But uh, they're no longer associated with the national organization. Hopefully, so sometime in the that future, is, that will be resolved. That and uh, you know, there's there's a couple other things going on with the U.S. chapter. It's uh, you know, we're not making quite as much progress. I know we just started. They started really going into the YouTube and doing more stuff on the YouTube level. Uh, they had their first successful this week, um, or last week, and uh, so that that's promising. That was a good time. Drew and Yari were doing that, and uh, you know, really just getting ready for the next conference is the big thing for on the national level. When is that scheduled for? I don't have it in front of me right now, sir. One moment. I mean, is it scheduled or is it? Sometime in the summer or something. I think it's. I think they did a tentative date, but I'm not 100 percent on what that date is. Okay. Um, last and week is, of May, first week of June. So it's proposed right now, May 29th to June 2nd this year. Okay. And that will be virtual um, soon. I yes, this year is going to be virtual. Next year. I think we're picking mid country and we're going to go down there, probably like Ohio or Illinois, and have a conference in the middle of the country to make it as easy as possible for everyone to attend. Sure. Um, though it's not set in stone, we're going to take the, 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 from what I understand, we're going to take the, the most center point from all active participants as we possibly can within reason. You Wasn't know? there someone's? Some like house was like literally the center point and they kept getting like tons of stuff that would actually get accidentally get routed there. Um, I think what we were side. going to do is probably take over like a hotel or something okay. like a wing. And just book a bunch of us there in a conference hall. Uh, I think that's the main plan, but we'll, we'll see if that manifests. Okay. You know, I mean, that would, that would require all of us going out there for a weekend. Yeah. Which would be really, really cool. I think what they're going to use it for is a springboard to really all come together, organize our candidates. I know myself, I'm, I'm going to be wanting to try and run personally. So I will listen to literally anyone, but any ideas that they have suggest for me to make it work. You know, I know it's going to be a shit ton of work. Pardon my language. Yeah, All right. Um, so can we close that and move on? We lose you, Joe. 
Uh, yes. Okay. Um, all right. So our conference is coming up the 18th. Um, MassPirates.org slash blog slash conference. Um, there's blog reminders either up or having scheduled. There's a conference page and email has been sent and another email will be sent next week. Uh, one suggestion um, was to um, come up with ideas. There's been a lot of anti-trans uh, and, and anti-LGBTQ um, plus bills out there. Um, even in Massachusetts, I'm, I'm sure there are some folks who have put forward um, some awful bills that uh, I would guess, considering 75% of Massachusetts voters supported um, the trans uh, rights uh, uh, ballot measure, um, that that won't go anywhere in Massachusetts, but that doesn't mean New Hampshire isn't, uh, you know, trans rights could be taken away in New Hampshire, they could be taken away other states. Uh, so that was suggested as a topic and I'll, I'll put that in. Um, I, if, if folks have topics, please, uh, you know, check out, you know, massparts.org slash blog slash conference and uh, there's a form you can fill out uh, to suggest ideas and stuff like that. Um, any other things for the conference? That's all virtual, um, hopefully in April or so, we will have an in-person one, perhaps up in Lowell, right Joe? Um, hopefully, um, if all goes according to plan. Quick question, if I may, mm -hmm. on the on the PPI, Massachusetts is just as an observer, correct? That's what. That's all that we can be. That's correct. But we have to get the application in. So. Yeah, I know. I need to. There was another thing I need to get done, and I apologize for that. Yeah, no worries. It's all life, unfortunately, always intervenes, but we keep making progress. Uh, any other to conference topics? Uh, yes. Is this something that we can serve food at or should serve food at? Um, and the other question is, can this the one in in the spring uh, for our next conference? Are we still doing it in Lowell, or are we doing it in? Um, That's the only suggested online? location so far. If there are other folks listening to this that want to uh, suggest a location uh, and are willing to help organize in that said location. Give us, send us an email, info at masspirates.org. But, you know, so far, Joe, you know, you're the, we're, we're trying to do these every three months or so. So, you know, we have Lowell, this upcoming one, and then um, another one, you know, somewhere else, perhaps Western Mass or something like that, or Worcester. We'll see how it goes. Okay. But yeah, I mean, you guys have food, I'm sure. Hopefully we can do one down in Boston too. Yep, that would be good. Um, so for local outreach, um, I will say I'm still doing stuff with uh, meshboston.net and um, scheduling some stuff for them and trying to get pirates to it on the 13th of February, um, a mere four days away, uh, there's a discussion about renewing Comcast's um, license in Massachusetts, and sorry, in Somerville. Uh, and so that meeting will come up and I'm trying to turn out some Somerville pirates to that 
I'll probably send an email this weekend following up on one of the other emails that I sent. Uh, Joe, do you have anything for Lowell? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have anything at this time. Um, other than the, uh, other than the fact that we just have that location for, uh, okay. for the conference. Well, that would certainly be a good opportunity to get people out to that, uh, from the Lowell, greater Lowell area. Yeah, right. unfortunately, I have not been as on top on uh, mole politics these last few weeks. Yeah. All right, and uh, it's Steve, things are going well in in Arlington with town town uh, town stuff. Oh uh, yeah, we. Um... Let, yesterday was the day to pull papers for the last day, the deadline to pull papers for the local election. Uh, they are due back on Friday. And aside from that, um, um, I think the big effort, the big thing I'm involved in is developing, working on a plan for compliance with the MBTA community's multifamily requirements. What does that mean? So it basically means, um, so the requirements, these are new state requirements, uh, but basically cities and towns that are served by the MBTA um, have to provide a zoning district where multifamily is, housing is allowed by right. Uh, so that's like, you know, three dwelling, dwellings or more. Uh, in Arlington, multifamily housing is not allowed by right anywhere. So uh, we have some work to do. <laughs> Interesting, even with, um, I know you, you, like a couple of years back, you updated the zoning laws, right? We did, but all of the opportunities that one has to construct, you know, buildings at a scale of three units or more they it's not by right it's all discretionary permit I see. so you know by right means you basically go in give your plan to the building inspector and they you know check and see if it complies with the laws and building codes and if it does you get a building permit right. um special permits involve public hearings uh a minimum of a two-month process and the risk of being um, litigated. So there's there's a pretty significant difference between the two regimes. Oh yeah. All right. Thanks for that update. Um, so as I said, emailed out to folks um, about local elections, and um, going to send out an email to people who have expressed a desire to be candidates. Uh, to follow up on that. And then um, <clears throat> I, I have the uh, Mass Municipal Association document with dates, and we'll put that up so people can find out what their city and town is um, when their elections are. And then um, Let's see. Uh, excuse me, I'll be right back. Um, and then video newsletter we are scheduled for this Saturday. I'm mean, sorry, this Sunday at at seven thirty. Does that work? Mm -hmm. Great. Good. Okay. Um, any other business to discuss? Uh, just a mild one. Um, we looked into a bill. You said the bill didn't pass, but I was hoping to discuss it. Which not bill? Than on the podcast. Which, which bill? Which was the bill, the one where they were, in Massachusetts, they were really trying to ban all guns, basically all semi-automatic. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think any bills have been voted on at all. We just were at the start of the two year session. Yeah, they're not even, I can't even find the new, some of the new stuff listed on malegislature.gov yet. 
Okay. Yeah, there's, it, it was proposed, so there's a lot of like two way. And if Massachusetts were to propose a bill like that, the way it's getting shot down in the courts, specifically with the Supreme Court, uh, it would look really bad on Massachusetts. I hope our legislative body is not going to try and do something to directly go against the Supreme Court, um, because it would just be kind of embarrassing. But you know, you know, you got to challenge. You got to challenge unjust laws, dude. <laughs> you know? I'm not saying this is necessarily an unjust law, but just because the Supreme Court says no, doesn't mean you shouldn't. Uh, you shouldn't. You well, shouldn't come and pass it. So, I believe in. I believe in the right to carry. You sure. know, I think we all should carry. If Granny's packing, then nobody's nobody's messing around. You know. And, um, but at the same time, I, I very much agree with the way we do things here in Massachusetts, where we vet people, we make sure that they're mentally supported and strong of some mind and body before handing them something that could hurt somebody, you know? And uh, I specifically agree with the way in which, like, Yeah, Joe, uh, certainly, certainly agree with you with with that. Although the Supreme Court recently decided that um, that you know just because you committed domestic violence doesn't mean you can't have a gun, which you know seems problematic. But you know, yeah, right we'll, we'll arm, see how this all plays out. I mean, there's still a lot of litigation to go. You know? Yeah. You know, next they'll say, you know, if you tried to overthrow the government, you 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 can't be banned having a gun. Which you know, considering what happened after the Civil War, it makes sense. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, not that one should agree with that, but whatever. Um, okay, so uh, any other things to discuss? Uh, no, at this time, sir. All right, shall we adjourn? I second. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Uh, I hope everyone watching this uh, at a delay found it useful. Uh, check us out um, this Sunday at 7.30 for uh, Massachusetts Pirate Party News. Uh, Take care and hope to see you at the conference. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Steve. Bye.